looks like we're live again. Hey there, everybody. It's the Nasty One here again, and welcome back to the next episode of the Heat of Shuffle Draft Franchise Rebuild here in Super Mega Baseball 4, year number 3. Last episode, we're coming off a heartbreaking loss to our division rivals, the Grapplers, as we made two crucial fielding, er fielding errors in this game, which led to uh, an unearned run scoring at the end of the game to cost us the victory in a walk-off style fashion. Uh, with that loss, we also had to release our third baseman, Keg Gutterson, because he was one of the recipients of said errors, and he needed to come out of the game because our other third baseman is also not feeling well because he made the other error and won't be available for today's game. With that being said, we had to sign a new third baseman who would be making his season debut for us. We'll introduce him here once we show you the lineup for today's game. Uh, we're taking on the Overdogs today, our second of three straight road games here in the second half. It's our final road game stretch of the season. Uh, on the mound for us is Perd Lovelorn coming off a complete game shutout. His last start, 2-0 with a 108 ERA and an 090 whip. And on the mound for the Overdogs is third-year pitcher Raton de Black. The lefty is tense, 0-1 with a 652 ERA and a 197 whip. Not having a great season. Neither are the Overdogs as they're just under 500. Lineup we're going to be using, leading off at second base, Sloop Whoopity. Batting second, locked in in center field is rookie Stanley Swanson. Batting third is right fielder Jovan Bambino. Batting fourth, first baseman Brent Manley. Batting fifth, left fielder Cash Basket. Batting sixth, making his season debut, third baseman Butt Puckerman, the third-year vet. Batting seventh, shortstop Rob Glover. Batting eighth, catcher Fiona Clark. And batting ninth is pitcher Perd Lovelorn. There he is, Puckerman. There he is. Well, I'll take a look at him real quick before we jump into today's action to give you a heads up on where he was the past couple of years. I believe, if I remember correctly, we did this at the end of last episode, but it's been a while. I've forgotten. <laughs> I believe he was with the Crocodons, if I remember correctly. No, he was with the Herbosaurus. That was close. It was a green team. Uh, he has not been picked up by a team this season. He's coming off a fantastic year last season where he hit 417 and you know, had his best year of his young career, but, you know, he didn't get an offer for the third year with the team, and he's been a free agent ever since the beginning of the year. So he's making his season debut today. We'll see if he can shake off the rust. Let's get it on as we jump into the action today. All right, looking at the Overdogs team, um, they're pretty good on paper. They have a really good offense. Uh, speed is pretty good as well. Uh, defense is lacking. Now it's only average at best, and their rotation and bullpen is actually quite good as well. It's surprising that this team is only 4-5. and five. Um, I'm assuming they have a lot of tough competition in their division this year as they're in their new home, the Motor Yard, which they picked up from the Crocodons as the Crocodons moved to a new stadium this game. Um, they were the previous recipients of this home stadium. Let's see if our Heaters team can bounce back after a rough loss. Whoopity Swanson and Bambino do up here against Raton de Black. Whoopity leading off, second baseman hitting 190 on the year, no homers, no RBIs as he's had a slow start to his year against, uh, he's going to be facing the young left-hander Raton de Black. 0-1 with a 652 ERA and a 197 whip, 10, earned run, 10 runs given up, 7 earned in her two starts so far this year, averaging just under 5 innings to start at 9.2 innings, 15 hits surrendered, 2 homers, 4 walks, 5 strikeouts, and batting average against 349, not a great memorable year for her, and her advanced stats show that as well as her Strikeouts are down, her walks are up, her hits are up, her pitches per inning are a little high, her OBP is really high, and their strikeout per walk is pretty low. So, not great numbers at all for Rotonda as she's trying to bounce back here in the second half of the year. Whoopity's ready, here we go. Curveball taken in the dirt, ball one, as Wild Thing is active for Black here, so uh, this is a new trade she's picked up. She actually only has K Neglector at the beginning of the series. Uh, increased air and pitch location, 10% uh, chance power pitches will have increased air and pitch location as well. It's a medium debuff. So what uh, jo Joanna Heater had before we got it off her is that Heater's down and in low. 2-0 the count here to Whoopity. Curveball hang, called a strike 2-1 as it's the first one she's thrown today. Two seam up and away, fouled off. Whoopity is late on it, 2-2. Kane Glechter now active for black. Cutter at the knees, grounded to short right at Blue Michaels as he rolled over on it. Easy play, one down. Next up will be Stanley Swanson, the rookie center fielder. He's locked in, hitting 475, one homer, five RBIs on the year. Cutter inside, strike call, 0-1. Cutter misses inside this time from Black, 1-1. Cutter down in the way is poked to right center field, sinking quickly, racing over the center fielder. Sampson cannot get there, it is a base hit. Swanson on with a one-out knock as he'll keep his hot hitting going, and that'll bring up right fielder Jovan Bambino. Locked in hitting 442 with two homers and six RBIs on the air. 
Peter inside, strike called from Black, 0-1. Two seam up and in, dribbler to second, Asher bomb to second one, Michaels to first, just in time, double play, and that ends the inning as Bambino drops down the neutral mojo. Black gets a key double play to get out of the inning. Bottom one, Michaels, Flexed, and Jackson do up against Purd Lovelorn, making his third out of the year for us. Michaels, the shortstop leading off, bad ball hitter active, hitting 237, three homers, five RBIs on the year, facing Purd Lovelorn. Lovelorn on the year, 2-0 with a 108 ERA and 090 whip. Two earned runs given up in two starts. 16 and two-thirds innings pitched, averaging just over eight innings at start. 15 hits surrendered, one homer, one uh, complete game shutout thrown, and nine strikeouts given up. He is a batting average against 246. And his advanced numbers are pretty good. OBP is solid at 246. Strikeouts per nine is low, but he's not a strikeout pitcher. Uh, walks per nine is really good. It's elite right now at zero. Uh, his hits per nine are a little high at eight. Strikeouts per nine are pretty good at nine, and his pitches per inning are only just under 11. That's really, really good. Lovelorn is coming off a complete game shutout last start, so he's coming in with some good momentum. Here's the lineup he'll face after Michaels. It is catcher Pex Flex from the Sawteeth. Locked in third baseman Juice Jackson. JJ from the Jacks. Uh, batting fourth, second baseman Yakar Asherbaum. Batting fifth, first baseman Mick Steele from the Sirloins. Batting sixth, locked in in center is Super Samson. From the Sandcats, batting 7th, 10th right fielder Chili Little from the Grass Eaters. Batting 8th left fielder Spitz McKinney, who actually is from the Overdogs, I believe, or the Buzzards. He's from the Buzzards. And batting ninth is pitcher Raton de Black, who's actually originally on the Grapplers. Looking at their roster, they have on the bench Janice Friedman, who's not hitting well. Dirk Sportswood, who is hitting well, but he is a little injured. Pepe Vinicio, another second baseman, as well as another second baseman, Walker Runs, who's a freebooter. Benicio Force from the Moonstars. Freeman from the Wide Loads. Forcewoods from the Hot Corners. He was on the Grapplers at the beginning of the series. Uh, they also have catcher Ernie Bling, so they're rolling with a five-man bench. Uh, pitching rotation, they have Angel Verde as well as Joffrey Rockman. They also have long reliever Bradley Bowler in their fourth slot in the rotation. They also have Jeffrey Jenkins in the bullpen. Brent Branch, Joseph Brosev, Tia Mayfair, and Tupelo Von Crum. Let's get it on. Lovelorn's ready. Here we go. Falls behind. Active on the first pitch form. Bad ball hitter active for Michaels. That's roped to right field on the first pitch fastball at the letters. And Bambino didn't even have to move. One down, and that's catcher Pexflex coming up next, hitting 280 with a homer. Five RBIs on the air for the lefty. Uh, Sign still did activate there, letting him know there was a fork ball coming, but it caught the knees for a strike because he wasn't swinging. 0 1. Couple down and in is in there low. 1 and 1. Lovelorn's already locked in here coming into this game. Peter inside, 2 1. Double down and away. Strike called, 2 2. Horsey up and away. Take it high, 3 2. Hope down and in. Take it low inside, ball four. First walk for Lovelorn on the season. His flex will reach. One on, one down for Juice Jackson, who's locked in. Osby hitter active, hitting 417 with a homer and 13 RBIs on the air. Forcing him down the way in the first pitch, poked to right field, and that is a base hit for JJ as he'll follow it up. The walk with a knock of his own. Two on, one down for Yacker Asherbaum, the second baseman, hitting 364 with an RBI on the air. The ball down and in on the first pitch, floats in there for a called strike. Go one. Down in the way is low, 1-1. One, one. Well down and in, checked low, 2-1. and one. First team up and in, Ashbaum takes it, called strike, 2-2. Two, two. Well down in the way, strike three called at the knees. First punch out for Lovelorn, two down in the inning. Got to bring up the five hitter, Mick Steele, the first baseman hitting 308 with an RBI in the air. Getting the start of the injured Dirk Sportswood at first base. Despite Steele being a better pinch hit option than actual everyday starter, due to Sportswood's injury, he gets to have the start today. We're seeing him down the first pitch, strike call to one. Well down and in. Off the plate inside, 1-1. One, one. Work ball down in the way. That's nub to third. Puckerman charges in, makes the play to first, and that ends the inning as he makes a good first impression for the second scoreless Manly Basket and Puckerman do up. Yeah, it's a good first impression, Puckerman. You didn't make an error. Let's get it on. Grunt Manly leading off. First baseman hitting 353. Four homers. Seven RBIs on the air as he'll lead off the second for the Heaters. 
First pitch, two-seamer, or cutter outside, maybe. I think it was two-seamer that misses, ball one. Fastball, but in, turned on by Manley, hit well to right center field, heading for the high wall out there as it's off the fence. Sampson plays the carom, and that'll be a leadoff double for Manley as he's in scoring position to start the inning. Left fielder Cash Basket up next, hitting 333. Two RBIs on the year, getting the start against the lefty today. Power and contact versus lefty traits, both active here. And the outfielder deliver. That cutter misses outside, ball one. Cutter middle in, that's a strike called, 1-1. One, one. Fastball away, fouled off late by Basket, 1-2. Just missed that one. Kaden Glechter active for black. Peter up the way, chased out of the zone, pop foul behind the first base. Makes steal out there for it, makes the catch, one down. Next up is third baseman Butt Puckerman making his first at bat of the season. He has bad jumps, active, as, well, not active yet, that's on the base pass. He also has big hack, so if he gets ahead in the count, his power will increase at the cost of some contact. Can the 29-year-old deliver his first hit of the season in a clutch situation as Black is back to neutral mojo here? Curveball taken in the dirt as it bounces, ball one. Fastball middle in is a strike, one on one. That's low on the heater, two one. Slider away, fouled off. That was probably outside. 2-2 two, two, now the count. And neglect her active again here. Cutter at the knees, ripped the third right at Jackson on the line. Two down as the runner holds. Rob Glover up next. Shortstop hitting 308 as he looks to drive in the runner from second. Getting the start over Ham Slamis today. Cutter down and in is low in the dirt. Ball one. Slider away, poked to right field. That's going to hang up though for Little and that ends the inning. Hit a little bit too hard. Bottom two were scoreless. Sampson, Little, and McKinney do up against Lovelorn. Super Sampson leads off. Center fielder is locked in, hitting 345 with a homer. Five of the eyes on the year. Facing in now, locked in again. Lovelorn, who got out of the jam last inning. Work well down in the way. Line to third, right at Puckerman for the first out. Chili Little up next. Right fielder is tense, hitting 130. One RBI in the air as Mind Gamer is active. Not a good season for Chili out there in right field here for the Overdogs. Peter up and away in the first pitch. Struck call, 0 1. Or pull down in the way. Taken in the dirt, 1 1. Pushing him down and in. That's grounded up the middle. Base hit into left of center. Is that'll be a one out knock for Little? So be on here in the second. Next up, Spitz McKinney, the left fielder, hitting 233 with two RBIs on the season as he's going to look to move the runner up. Ball down and in on the first pitch is low. Ball one. Pushing down in the way, fouled off on the hit and run into the screen. 1-1. One, one. Ball down and in, fouled off on the hit and run once again as it's still. And now one and two to count. Ball up and away. Popped up in front of the plate. Clark out of the crouch. Just in fair territory. Puts it away. Two down. Next up is the pitcher, Raton to Black. Runner at first. Two down. She's hitless on the air. Forcing Ruffin away in the first pitch. Check swing strike called. Or one. Decent amount of power in Raton to bat, but she doesn't have any contact to back it up. Or it's barely existent. I believe it's at one. And then speed, which is definitely non existent. Forcing me down and in is low. 1 1. Work ball up and in. Whiff through it. 1 and 2. Forcing me up and away. Chased and fouled off out of play over the dugout on the heater side of the field at third base. Fouled off. 1 2. Work ball down and in. Fouled off. Still 1 and 2. Work ball middle away. Strike three called in the outside corner. Second punch out here for Lovelorn, and that ends the inning. To the third, we are scoreless here. Clark, Lovelorn, and Whoopity. Eight, nine, and one. Do it for the heaters. Hey, one boy, yes, we have returned to the yard indeed. Welcome in, buddy. Hope things are going well. Yes, Motor Yard is a very solid stadium indeed. Fiona Clark, do up. Catcher in the eighth slot today. Power versus lefty active, hitting 438. One RBI on the season. Curveball hangs on the first pitch, poked to right center, and that is going to get down for extra bases as Clark 
He's already on our way to second by the time Sampson gets the ball. It is a leadoff double. Can we score this one? Let's find out if we failed to do it last inning. Bird Love Lorne Dua, pitchers locked in, hitting 500, one RBI in the year. Think both of us not having the best night? Well, yeah, the Orioles didn't show up today. I mean, it is what it is. But at least you guys did get one win at home in the series against the uh, Twins. Ah, uh, well, it is what it is. Guess we're not going to have that matchup. Agreed, they're not playing as well as they should be. Hey, look, you, you guys have the better shot of making it to the next round than we do. You've already got a win. We're down 2-0. This is true. This is true. Never say never. I like that attitude. Wish I had it. Heater away is a strike call to Lovelorn. 0-1. Corner's in playing the bun as that heater's up and away. 1-1. Heater away. Poked foul. Lovelorn behind. 1-2. Gain neglector now active for Black. Cutter up and away. Poked to left center. That is going to be down for a base hit as Lovelorn helps his own cause. Coming around third is Clark. Throw from McKinney is late and cut by Steele. It's an RBI knock for Lovelorn. one nothing Heaters. But on a good note, you fixed your game. Oh, that's awesome. Now you can actually play it without the frame rate problem. That's awesome. Glad you got it up and running again. I bet you were going nuts just only being able to watch games. <laughs> Whoopity up. He's over one today. Takes a cutter. A two seamer up and away high. Ball one as black as tense again. Peter down in the way. Strike called. 1 1. Cutter up. That's out of the zone. 2 1. Slider at the knees, poked to center field, and that's a base hit for Whoopit as he drops it in in front of Sampson. Two on, none down. That's three straight hits to start the inning for the Heaters. One home already. It can't run at the display that the game has it run at. Fair. So it was the resolution. Ah, I thought it was. Sometimes it's just as simple as that. <laughs> Had to lower it. Yeah, I figured as much, but that's good. Glad you got it to get it to start working for you. Swanson up. He's a one for one today with a single. Cutter inside misses. Ball one. Sliders out of the zone. 2 0. All right, let's take a healthy hack here with Swanson. Cutter up and in line to right center. It jammed him a little bit. Samson there for it. Puts it away. One down. Runners will hold as we're not running on that arm. <laughs> and it still looks the same and makes you happy. I agree. At least you're not losing anything in the graphics department. Bambino up next. He's 0 for 1. Granted into a double play his first time up. He's no longer locked in. Peter away. Missed it late. 0 1. Peter up and away. Is chased out of the zone. Down the left field line it goes. And that's a fair ball into the corner as Bambino went with it. Gets it under the glove of McKinney into the corner. That is going to be a two run double for Bambino as the pitcher and Whoopity both score. 3 0 heaters. Run Manley up next, RBI hero active. He doubled his first time up and was stranded there at second base in the second inning. Dribble down is pulled foul, just out of play, 0-1. Peter down in the way, late swing, 0-2. Peter up and in his chase, pulled foul. Manley does stay alive, 0-2. Bambino still at second, here, one down. Dribble at the knees, Manley goes with it, hits it well to left center. Kitty over for it, makes the catch for the second out as Bambino tags for third. He'll get in there safely. Runner 90 feet away with two down for Basquette. Grounded out her first time up. She's 0 for 1. Power and contact versus lefty active. Took a weird route to it. Indeed, it did look a little funky off the bat, I believe. <laughs> hey, he got there, and that's what matters. Black's first pitch heater up and away. Strike call, 0-1. Fastball at the knees, hit well by Basquette to center field, but she didn't put any power into it, as that's going to be an easy fly for Sampson. And that'll end the inning. Three home, though, in the inning. One on the single by Lovelorn, two on the double by Bambino. Three nothing to the bottom of the third. Heaters lead as they draw first blood. Michaels flexed, and Jackson do up against Lovelorn. Michaels leading off. He's 0 for 1 today. Did not get on base his first time up. Now he has rally starter to help out his bad ball hitter. Let's see if he gets on this time. Of course, down and in. That's low, ball one. Work ball down in the way. That's poked foul, a little late, one on one. Her ball in. Just out of the zone, high, two one.
Let's pull down and in. Whiff low. Good chase. 2-2. Two, two. Where's he ripping away? Michaels fouls it back. He'll stay alive. 2-2 two, two remains the count. Go down in the way. Fouled off late. He will stay alive. Count remains 2-2. Two, two. Go down and in. Grounded the short right at Glover. He'll charge in and make the play. One down. Next up, Pex Flex to walk this first plate appearance. And was stranded out there at first base. Was he stranded at second base? I think it was first base. Or is he repping in the first pitch? Strike called from Lovelorn. No one. Go down and in. Strike call. That's 0 2. Quickly ahead is Lovelorn here. Or is he down and away? Fouled off. That's out of play. 0 2. Football down and in. Chased it in the dirt. Strike three. Third punch out for Lovelorn as he got him to chase out of the zone. Two down. Now to bring up Juice Jackson, who's one for one today with a single. Everyone talking slash trips this, slash trips that. Well, what about Boot Michaels? How is it around the same if you not better hit it with the same traits? Indeed, but no one wants to use the wild pigs. Or they just can't get Michaels to produce the same results. Which is weird because they are both around the same overall range as well. It's really weird. JJ went after the first pitch in his first at bat and poked it through the right side. Fork ball down in the way is a strike call to one. Pushing him up and in off the plate. Misses inside. 1 1. Well down and in. Chased it in the dirt. Big healthy cut from Jackson, but he was late on it, I believe. It's 1 2. Where's him ripping away? Chased out of the zone and fouled back over the screen. 1 2 remains the count. Forkball down and away. Chased in the dirt. Fouled off again. We'll stay alive. 1 2. Force him ripping in. Fooled him. Chased it upside. Upstairs. Strike three. Fourth punch out for Lovelorn. That ends the inning. 1 2 3 inning for him. His first of the day. To the fourth, it's 3 0. Puckerman, Glover, and Clark do up against Black. I don't know. Lovelorn's pitching well above his ratings. I think right now he's having the best season out of everyone in the pitching staff. That's for sure. Here's Puckerman. Lined out his first time up to third base. He's over one today. Back sets, fires. Slider taken high on the first pitch. Ball one. Cutter up and away. Caught the corner. One and one. Nice pitch. Slider up and away. Same spot. Lined to second. Right at Asherbaum. One down. Glover up next. He's over one today with a ground out. Cutter up and in. Taken high and tight. 1 0. Fastball away with late. 1 and 1. Or no, he flew out to right. That's right. He flew out to right. Thinking of the wrong batter. Slider away. Poked to right center field over the leaping glove of Asher Bomb into the gap. Little chasing after it cuts it off. Gets it in, but it is going to be a double for the speedy Glover. Runner in scoring position. One down for Clark, who doubled her first time up. She's 1 for 1 today. Looking to keep it going once again. Clark also scored the first run of the day for the Heaters. Slider hangs out of the zone in the first pitch. Right to Michaels for the second out. Good reactions by the runner. Two down for Lovelorn. He singled home a run earlier in his first at bat of the game. He then scored later in the same inning. Still locked in. Heater up and away. Poked foul. Out of play. 0-1. Lovelorn's just on another planet right now. Curveball bounces in the dirt. Good block behind the plate. 1-1. One, one. Cutter down and then pulled in the hole to first. Mixed steal on the backhand. Flips the black in time. That ends the inning. Bottom four. It's 3-0 as black gets out of a jam. Asherbaum, Steele, and Sampson do up against Lovelorn. Here's Yacker Asherbaum, the second baseman. He's 0 for 1 today. Struck out swinging his first time up. Work ball down and in on the first pitch. Low and inside. Ball one. Worse be down in the way. Poked foul late. One and one. Her ball up and away. Poked foul. Out of play. Oh, 2 One and two the count. Work ball down and in. Checked in the dirt. Good hold. Two two. Worse him up and in. Blue bomb strike three. Third straight punch out for Lovelorn. He's at five today. One down, and here's Mick Steele. He's over one today. 
Curve ball down in the way in the first pitch. Floats in there. Strike call. The one. Fork ball down and then whiffed on it. Swung over the top of it. 0-2. Curve ball up and away. Poked down the right field line. Looking to stay fair. Bambino racing in. Slides. Doesn't get there. And that is a base hit. Steal on with one down. Is that... Found a way to drop. Here's Super Samson. Oh, for one today, he's locked in. Four super down in the way in the first pitch, just off the plate from Lovelorn. Ball one. Ball down and in. Floats in there for a strike. One one. Four ball up and away. Runner goes on the hit and run. Foul back. One and two. Where's him rumping in? Out of the zone, 2-2. Two, two. Well, down in the way. Fooled him, taken low. If that had caught the plate, he would have been gone. Full count. Work ball down and in. Grounded to short, right at Glover. This could be two. Glover to second, one. We'll put he on to first. Double play. You love to see it as we double up one of the fastest runners in the game and Super Samson. To the fifth, it's 3-0. Heaters lead. Whoopity Swanson and Bambino do up. And pitching from Lovelorn, putting up another zero. There's Whoopity, one for two with the single today. Peter low, ball one. Cutter up and away is high, 2-0. Hitters count for Sloop. Cutter hangs, crushed by Whoopity to the right center gap. That's going to split him and get all the way to the fence on one hop. As he's already digging for second. He'll be in with the leadoff double here to start the fifth. Anybody else playing center field out there? That's a triple. Center Super Samson out there with that super arm? Uh-uh. <laughs> Lead off man at scoring position for Swanson, who flew out his first time up. He's one for two. He's singled. Slider in there, middle in. Strike call to one. Black tents once again. Heater up and away. He's fouled off as he chased it high out of the zone. No two to Swanson. Triple down and then pulled over third. That is going to drop in for a base hit. Whoopity digging, coming around third. Throw from McKinney will be cut by Michaels. RBI knock for Swanson. Rookie makes it 4 nothing heaters. There's Bambino. Two-run double last time up. He's one for two. He's also hitting to a uh, double play ball. Heater down in the way. Low and outside. No one in the zone. Ball one. Cutter away. Caught the zone this time. 1-1 one, one from Black. Change it down and in. Dribbler to third. Yashabon on to Asherbaum from Jackson. That's a fielder's choice as Bambino beats out the back end. One down for Manley. Runner at first. He's one for two with the double. Slider from away. Poked the left center field as he timed it perfectly into the gap. It goes. Extra bases for Manley as Bambino digging for third. He'll be sent around third. It's going to become an RBI double for Manley as the relay for Michaels is late. Five nothing heaters. Offense firing on all cylinders today. Here's Basquette, who's over two and tense. Well, almost all cylinders. Curveball middle in on the first pitch. Line to short right at Michaels. Two down. Basquette struggling. Puckerman up next. He's over two. He's lined out twice. First time he lined out the third base. Last time up, he lined out the second base. And didn't deliver. Cutter up and in. Strike call to one. Pass ball away, poked to right center field, and that is down for a base hit. First hit of the season for Puckerman. Coming around third is Bambino. He will, or Manley, he will score it as an RBI for Puckerman, his first of the year as well. Six nothing heaters. So that's our third run in the inning. Glover doubled last time up. He's one for two. Looking to keep the inning going against the tiring Black. Cut up and in as a strike call, though. One. Slider down, poked to left center. Over the leaping Michaels' glove. That's going to keep it going. Throw coming to third. Puckerman is going to be out by a mile. He does not run well. <laughs> that ends the inning after the outfield assist from Sampson, but it is 6 nothing heaters as we put three more on the board. Bottom five, we're halfway home. Little McKinney, and then I assume a pinch hitter for Black as she should not be coming back out. Philly Little leading off, one for one with a single today. He's still tense, though. Mind game are active for him. Boosted by the falls behind trade here of Lovelorn. Forcing him up and away. Strike call. 0-1. Ball well down in the way. Just outside. 1-1. One one. Forcing him down and in. Strike called. 1-2. Work ball middle in. Foul off. 1-2. Forcing 
actually ripping away. Chased it, strike three. Six punch out for Lovelorn. One down. Next up, McKinney. He's over one today. Ball down the way in the first pitch. Strike called. 0 1. Fork ball down in the way. Strike called. 0 2. Where's he down in the way? Just low. 1 and 2. We're bumping in. Popped up behind third in foul territory. Puckerman is over Fort. Puts it away. Two down. And Tom the Black do up next. We'll see if they put up a pinch hitter for the pitcher, and they will. It is Dirk Sports with the injured first baseman who is locked in, hitting 300 with two homers and seven RBIs on the year. Black coming out after four innings of or five innings of work, giving up six earned runs on 12 hits. I believe no strikeouts and no walks today for Raton to Black as she once again gets lit up. First pitch, four seamer up and away. Poked over second. Whoopity giving chase shallow right. He'll run it down, and that's a 1-2-3 inning here for Lovelorn in the fifth. Coming in to pitch, it is Brent Branch, the third-year reliever, who's a free agent rookie before the draft. He'll take over on the mound to the sixth. That's still 6 nothing heaters. Clark, Lovelorn, and Whoopity do up. Jonah Clark leading off, 1-2 with the double today. So that last time up, facing Branch. Branch, 2-1 and one in the year with a 5.23 ERA and a 1.65 whip. Six earned runs given up in eight appearances here out of the bullpen. 10 in the third innings pitches, the most in the bullpen so far. 12 hits given up, 5 walks, 7 strikeouts, 1 hit batsman, 1 homer, and a batting average against a 273 for Branch. And there are his advanced numbers for those curious. Branch is the first reliever being used today by the Overdogs. Let's see how far he can go. Clark ready, here we go. 8, 9, and 1 up for the heaters here in the 6th. Curble down and in on the first pitch, turned on down into the corner and left. Diving McKinney makes the nice play. But did not give up on its spits. Next up is the on fire Lovelorn. One for two with an RBI single earlier. Grounded out the first last time up. Passman down in the way, swung over at 01. Curb up and in, strike called 02. Passman down and in, broken bat, one hopper to second. Asherbaum makes the play, two down. Quick start to the inning here for Branch. Here's Whoopity. Doubled last time up. He's two for three today. He's also singled. Heater away with late. 0 1. Branch only a two pitch pitcher. Four seamer curveball. That four seamer's high. 1 1. Fastball at the knees. Turned on by Whoopity into the corner. This time McKinney's not going to get there as it's down for extra bases. And the second double of the game for Whoopity as he's on with his third hit today. He'll be in scoring position with two down here for Swanson, who singled him home last time up. He's two for three with uh, two singles and an RBI. What a catch indeed. McKinney really went all out for that one. I'm impressed that he didn't give up on it. Gets ahead active for Branch on the first pitch of every at bat as that heater hits the letters. 0-1. Heater up and away this time is outside. 1-1. A little high as well. Fastball at the knees. Hit well by Swanson to center field, but no power on it. Right at Sampson, and that ends the inning. Bottom six, it's still 6 nothing. Michaels, Flexed, and Jackson do up as Lovelorn's coming back out looking for a quality start. Here's Luke Michaels. He's 0 for 2 today. Work ball down and in on the first pitch, taking low ball one. It's bad ball hitter and rally starter once again active for Michaels here. He's 0 for 2 today. Here in Saway, hit pretty well, right center field. That's got some carry to it. Bambino going back at the wall, looking up. And that is a home run for the Overdogs as it lands in the first row of the high monster wall there in right center. Just into the seats. Fourth homer of the year for Blue Michaels. He has put the Overdogs on the board of the 6-1 ending Lovelorn's consecutive scoreless innings streak. Pex flexed up next, 0-1 with a walk today as Lovelorn down to locked in Mojo. Still trying to. He's still going to go here, try and get the quality start. Sign Steeler activates curveball down and in is low. Ball one. Where's he ripping away? High. Outside as well. 2 0. Work ball middle away. Strike called at the D's. 1 0. 2 and 1. Sign Steeler active again. Curveball up and in. Whiff through it. He knew it was coming and still missed it. 2 2 the count. Why do they have their weird walkway right there? I don't know. I've never asked myself that question. Like, that seat's there, so there's no walkway. That's a good observation. They should do that. They are missing out on some key revenue up there. 
2-2 pitch, heater away, foul off late by Flex, still 2-2. Little down and in. Hold on the ground a second, whoopity over, cuts it off, fires the first, one down. Juice Jackson up next, he's one for two with a single, struck out swinging last time up. Or see me down in the way in the first pitch, check swing, strike call, 0-1. Purple down and in. Jackson rips it hard to short. Diving Glover to his right. Makes the stop on the grass. Fires across the first. In time as Glover robs his old teammate Juice Jackson before the draft. Two down. Nice play, Rob. Next up, Asherbaum. He's over two today in tents. Purple down and in on the first pitch. Whiffed over the top of it. 0-1. Where's he away? Strike called. 0-2. Work ball down in the way. Foul off. We'll do it again at 02. Where's him up and in? Strike three call on the check swing. Seventh punch out today for Lovelorn as he gets through the sixth. But he does give up his first run of the day on the home run by Blue Michaels. 6 1 to the seventh. Bambino, Manly, and Basquet. Heart of the lineup coming up for the heaters. There's Bambino. One for three with a two run double today. We're going to keep it going here. Reached on a fielder's choice last time up. Branch starts his second inning here at the letters. Strike call, 0-1. Curveball in is high and tight, 1-1. One, one. Curveball hangs, ripped the second right at Asherbaum. One down. Next up, Manley, 2-3 for three today with two doubles and an RBI. Heater at the knees, crushed by Manley, left center field. He got some good wood to it, carrying well. Back to the warning track, though, is Sampson to make the catch. Two down, just had enough to hold it in the ballpark. Basket up next, 0 for 3 today is tense. She lined out last time up. Do we pinch hit for We probably should. Coming off the bench is going to be big country Buck Swiner as he'll take over for Basket, who's just not hitting well today. Ball tie active for Buck. He's hitting 333, one homer, five RBIs on the year. Her ball in, floats in there for a strike, 0 1. Heater up and away is poked to center, sinking quickly. Samson racing and slides, and he makes the nice catch to rob big country. One, two, three inning for Branch. Bottom seven and six to one. Steele, Samson, and Little do up. And that is going to allow us to keep Lovelorn in the game to start the inning. If he gives up a base runner, I will take him out because his pitch count is already at 85. Steele up, one for two with a single last time up. Big country remains in the game after pinch hitting. He's out in the left field replacing Basket. We're seeing down and in on the first pitch. Grounded the third as it jammed him. Puckerman over up the line, makes the play. One down. Next up, Sampson. He's over two today. Still locked in, though. Made a nice play in the field last inning. Or in the top half of the inning, I should say. Work ball down in the way. Taken low. One ball one. Four seamer up and in. Off the plate inside. 2 0. Ball down in the way. Strike called at the knees. 2 1. Him down and then grounded hard to first. Manly over. Backhands cleanly. Races to the bag and he'll win the foot race. Two down. As we're not racing the wild thrower trait. As C it activated. I knew it. <laughs> Astros took the L. Ugh. Sorry to hear it, man. But hey, you're still 1 1. You got a good shot. Let's see how the Twins do in their first home game of the postseason, I believe. Or no, it's their second. Yeah. Yeah, because they had home field advantage the first time, I believe. Because they were playing the Rays. Now they're playing the Jays. Yeah, they're playing the Jays. I think you guys can win in Minnesota. I think you guys can beat them. I don't know about Texas, man. They whooped our butts today. It was pretty bad. Rodriguez got rocked, and then freaking Webb came on, gave up the grand slam, which ended up being the decider. Shame. Especially when Hicks hit that late home run. I'm like, if they hadn't given up that grand slam, that would have been a walk-off. So very sad. But I'm happy Hicks is doing well. He drove in five runs today. Five runs? Yeah, I think it's five runs. First pitch forcing him down and in here. He's hit up the middle of the second. Whoop, he dives to his right. Nice play. Fires the first in time. One, two, three inning for Lovelorn as he's through the seventh. To the eighth, Puckerman, Glover, Clark, and the pitcher is due up fourth. If Lovelorn does come up the bat, we will pinch hit for him. He's going to be possibly done here after seven. Puckerman up. He singled home a run last time up. One for three today. That was his first hit of the season. Also his first RBI as well. Not a bad debut for you, but 
Branch entering his third inning of work out of the bullpen here. Curveball hangs on the first pitch, pulled to left field over the leaping Michaels' glove. That is a base hit. Second hit for Puckerman today. He's two for four. Rob Glover's up next, two for three. He's doubled and singled today. Singled last time up. Heater up and away, line to first, right at Steele for the first out, who doubles off Puckerman because he tagged him. Unlucky. Clark up next, one through with the double today. She was robbed in the corner on a diving play by McKinney last time up. As a double switch coming in for the Overdogs, Joseph Broseph will take over on the mound here, replacing Branch, who goes two and two-thirds scoreless out of the bullpen, and also coming out as Chili Little, the outfielder. Coming into bat will be uh, backup catcher Ernie Blings as he'll be taken over in his backup position of right field. Joseph Broseph on the air, the lefty, 1-0 uh, with a 193 ERA and a 139 whip. Five runs given up, two earned runs and six appearances. Nine in the third innings pitched, 12 hits surrendered, one wild pitch, one walk, nine strikeouts, and batting average against of 300. Powers lefty active again here for Clark. Heater up and in, taken high. Ball one. Pass ball up and in line. Hard pass the first baseman into right field. That'll get it done. A two out knock for Clark. Her second hit today, she's two for four, and that will bring the pitcher up to the plate. Lovelorn will be pinch hit for here. He goes one for three today at the plate with an RBI single. He also goes uh, seven innings today, quality innings, giving up one run on four hits. That was the home run to Michaels. He also strikes out seven and walks one, which is his first walk of the season. Very solid third quality start of the year for Lovelorn. Cannot complain with what he's brought to the table today. Or this season, I should say. I'm going to go ahead and pinch hit for him. We're going to go ahead and give the at-bat to... I'm going to go ahead and give it to... Let's give it to Ralph Blue. He doesn't get to play very much. Let him have the at-bat here. First of the year for Ralph. Let's see what he can do with it. Third year with the club. Ralph has lost his playing time every season. Uh, first season, he was like a starter for the most part every once in a while. Uh, he hit well at the end of the year, led to team and batting average for most of the season. Second season, he got downgraded to a bench player who barely saw the field. And then this season, oh, he's just been completely forgotten. So let's try to rectify that. Let's give Ralph a shot. Hater down and in his low. Ball one. Hater away. Crushed by Blue to right field. I think we just signed him out of free agency, if I remember correctly, last episode. And that is a fireball coming at you there as Ralph Blue shows why <laughs> letting him go is a bad decision as he just put Caboosler to shame. First homer of the year for Blue in his first at bat. It is eight to one as the Heaters make it a seven run advantage. Way to tee it up. Here's Whoopity. Three for four today, two doubles and a single today. Hitting well as Bros is now tense. Slider in there on the first pitch strike. 0 1. Heater up. Whoopity lines it foul on the right side. Out of play. 0 2. Little late, little late. Slider away is chased outside and pokes shallow right center. That is going to drop in in front of Sampson for Whoopity's fourth hit today. He's four for five. Boom, indeed. <laughs> Swanson up two for two singles and an RBI. Heater inside misses from Brosip. Ball one. Heater low, 2 0. Time to take a healthy hack. Right down the middle, and I missed it. Little late, 2 and 1. Heater up and away, line to first right at Steele, and that ends the inning. That's going to do it for that half. Uh, we're going to take Blue out. He's not going to be fielding. He's basically just a hitter at this point, despite being a utility player. Can't really field. Going to turn it over to the bullpen here for the last two innings. Going to go ahead and turn it over here to Sebastian Morrow as he'll take over. Bottom eight, it is now eight to one after the homer by Blue, McKinney, Blings, and Michaels. Do up. Give him his playing time, indeed. <laughs> McKinney up. He's 0 for 2 today, not hitting well as of late. Facing Sebastian Morrow, making his fourth appearance out of the bullpen here. Morrow has no record at 10 12 ERA and a 188 whip. Three earned runs given up in two and two thirds innings. Five hits surrendered, three strikeouts, and a batting average against a 385. Not a lot of, lot of uh, sample size here, so those advanced numbers are a little inflated. Uh, Morrow's first outing was rough, but his next two were pretty shut down. We'll see what trend comes out. Let's see if Morrow comes out today. First pitch four, Seamer up and away. Strike called outside, 0-1. Change of middle in, out in front of it, 0-2. Quickly ahead. 
Fire down the way. Chased outside and fouled off. 0-2. Consistent is active here for Morrow to back him up. Or is he ripping in? Fouled off. Still 0-2 as McKinney fights to stay alive. Sliding down and in. Chop foul. We'll do it again. Count remains 0-2. Change up and away. Swung through it. Strike three. First punch out for Morrow. One down. He's got him looking fastball. Next up, Ernie Belings. Right fielder getting his first at bat of the game. He's tense. Hitting 091 in the air with an RBI. First splits active here for Morrow. Horse Seamer up on the first pitch is chopped the second slow roller. Opity charges. Bare hands the first. In time. Two down. Base is empty for Blue Michaels. One through the solo homer last time up. So far, that's the only run for the Overdogs today. Babble hitter rally starter still active for Morrow. Slide it down in the way. Rip foul. 0-1. Of course, he's ripping in. Chased off the plate. Jammed him foul. Out of play as Manley gives it a look. 0-2. Change it down and in. Checked low. Good hold. 1-2. Of course, he's ripping away. Fouled off. Still 1-2. Slide down the way. Line to second. Leaping whoopity out of his reach down in right field. Second hit today for Michaels. He's two for four. Two out knock will keep the inning alive here in the eighth for the Overdogs. Here is Pex Flex. He's over two with a walk. Reverse splits is still active here for Morrow. Slide it down and then on the first pitch. Low. Ball one. Or is he down in the way? Low again. 2 0. Change bump it in. Strike called. 2 1. Horse him up and away. Check swing strike called. 2 2. Horse him down and in. Check low. 3 2. Runner at first will be off. Let it down the way. He knows it coming. Swung through it. Strike three. Second punch out for Morrow, and that ends the inning. To the ninth. It's 8 1 still. Bambino, Manley, and Swiner do up. Bambino leading off one for four days so far. He's doubled and scored two runs. Or drove in two runs on said double. Heater up and in the first pitch. Cracked deep it to left, but he got under it. Right there for it, McKinney. One down. Next up, Manley. Two for four today with two doubles and an RBI. Slider way outside from Brosip. Ball one, and he's still tense. Heater down is chased below the knees, grounded to short. Michaels charges, makes the play, two down. Throws it back to neutral. Here's Big Country. He's 0 for 1 today. Heater up and in, rope to the gap, right center field. Extra bases for Buck is uh, giving chase to Sampson. There at the deepest part of the park. Big Country will to waltz in the second with the two out double. So that'll keep the inning alive here for the Heaters. Here's Puckerman. But 2 for 4 today. He has singled twice, driving in one run. Got to start calling him BP. <laughs> Slider away is outside. Ball one. Pass but down and then strike call. 1-1. One, one. Heater bounces in the dirt. 2-1. Heater up and in high. 3-1. Big hack active for BP. Got to use it. Let's give it a cut. 3-1 pitch coming from Brosif. Slider at the knees. Roped to short right at Michaels though. And that ends the inning. Bottom nine, it's still 8-1. to one. Harded lineup up for the Overdogs one more time. Jackson, Asherbaum, and Steele as Morrow goes for his second inning of work out of the bullpen. There's Jackson, 1-3 for three with a single today. Off-speed hitter active as he's still locked in. Change up on the first pitch away. Check swing, strike call. No one. Force him down and in. Pulled down the left field line by Jackson. That will be foul. 0-2. A little early. Horsing him down in the way. Chased it, strike three. Third punch out for Morrow. Two in a row. One down. Next up, Asherbaum. He's 0 for 3 in tense and very frustrated at the plate. He's pissed. Slider away on the first pitch. Outside misses. Ball one. Change bumping in. Checked high. 2 0. Horsing him down in the way. Strike called. 2 1. Slider down and in. Popped up behind second. Whoopity in shallow right center. Calling for it. And he'll put it away. Two down. 
Last chance for the Overdogs is Mick Steele. He's one for three with a single. Grounded out the third base last time up. First split's active here for Morrow. Change it down in the way in the first pitch. Pulled on the ground a second. Whoopity over to his left. Cuts it off. Fields at the first. One, two, three inning here for Morrow in the ninth as the Heaters shut it down here and win easily over the Overdogs bouncing back from a tough loss last episode. We win easily today, eight to one. As we scored six off the start over Tom to Black and waited till the eighth to get two more. But hey, we'll take it. A big, good day offensively. And great pitching job from Lovelorn, only giving up one run through seven. And then two scoreless for Morrow out of the pen to slam it. Hitless today was Basquet, and then Morrow, who didn't get to bat. A home run today, only one comes from Ralph Blue for us, as he had a two-run pinch hit shot. Lovelorn had an RBI single to help his own cause, but Puckerman in his season debut got two hits. He also had drove in his first run of the year on a single. Grunt Manley had an RBI double, Bambino had a two-run double, and Swanson had an RBI single. On the other side for the Overdogs, the only run came off the bat of Bloop Michaels. He had a solo homer. Hitless today were Pex Flex, Yacker Asherbaum, Super Samson, Spitz McKinney, Raton de Black, Dirk Sportswood, and Ernie Blings. Pitching lines, Lovelorn, seven score lips, uh, seven quality innings. He gives up four hits, one walk, one earned run on a homer, seven strikeouts. He improves the 3-0 and on the year as all three of his starts have been quality starts. Sebastian Morrill, two scoreless innings in relief, giving up one hit with three strikeouts. On the other side for the Dogs, for Tom Black, only five innings today. Gets the loss, 12 hits given up on six earned runs. She did keep the ball in the ballpark, though. Nevertheless, she still falls, though, in two. Brett Branch had two and two-thirds scoreless innings in relief of Black, going, giving up two hits. And Joseph Bros with the inning and a third, he gives up four hits, two earned runs on a pinch hit homer to Ralph Blue. Love Lauren is the player of the game with his quality seven innings of work, followed by Sloop Whoopity with his four hit day, doubling twice and singling twice at the top of the line to set the table. He also scored twice, and Ralph Blue with a pinch hit two run bomb off the bench is your third place finisher. It was literally his first at bat of the season. And I remember now we did sign him last episode to replace Goose Caboosler, so. Not bad, Ralph. Not bad on making me regret not signing you the first time. Of course, Ralph was an OG member of the squad. He was in the draft to start the series. GG's indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, one boy. Good, solid win today. I'll take it. All right, let's have a look around the league and then gear up for our final road game of the season next episode. Dean's fax machine is not working again. Who are you putting on IT? <laughs> Brazon or Blue? Well, Blue hit the pinch hit homer today, so the rookie's going to take this one. Sorry, Brazon. Earn your keep. You didn't order enough waxing strips for the team. Who's left out? Puckerman or Rangel? Well, the rookie's not doing anything this year. It's got to be her. Puckerman hit well in his debut. He got two hits. You've taken the last bottle of heartburn medicine. Who are you going to make restock it? Glover or Mesa? Mesa didn't play today. Rob had two hits. Mesa's cheaper. Let's do him. Relievers are statistic are generally speaking more cheaper than actual position players. So, wow, three negative ones there. Damn, that sucks. Oh, well. All right, let's look around the league at what we got going on as Rangel is rounding out their skill set. She can now play the entire infield. She is a B-. minus. Good job, Lacey. Moonstar signed outfielder Marvin Steed as they'll get cut Duder El Dorino from their roster. Salty signed pitcher Mark Harbormouth as they release closer Lynetta Betta. Muffin Studwick is released by the Freebooters, so they're going to sign first baseman Hercules Bentley. Softy signed reliever, long reliever Donovan Drake as they were cut Doyen Stafford from their rotation. Okay, and Jerry Rauner is going to the Wild Pigs as they cut Wanda Dregler from their rotation. So a couple teams cut some cap as they're not having good years. Although the Marvin Steed signing actually was a really good one, so that might be different. Good win for the Sandcats there as they improved to a league best 10 and 1 on the year. <sighs> Buzzards win there. They might have some competition for us. I like it. Freebooters win 9 to 3. Good win for them. Why wow, that's taking on Nemesis here and the Nemesis shut him out for us. Good job. 4 0. Oof. Tough loss there for the Pigs as they blow another one. 
Crocodon shut out the Platypi Force, 3 0. Thank you, Crocs. Appreciate it. Sirloins win, 4 to 3 and 12. Grapplers taking on the wide loads. Grapplers will win 10 to 4 as they retake the division lead from us. Ha, ah, suck it, Grass Eaters. Herbisaur is lost to the hot corners, and then they drop the second half of the doubleheader 3 to 2. Nice. Free bidders now taking on the hot corners. Free bidders start up, and they hold on to win. 11 to 8. Good job. Now, game out of first, and then they drop the second half of their doubleheader 5 to 3. Unfortunate, but they are still in second place, so good for them. Wild Oats taking on the Beagles here. Beagles rally and win 6 to 3 as they move to 5 and 6. Wild Oats now officially eliminated from playoff contention at 3 and 9. But they do manage to win the next game in the doubleheader, 8-5 to five in 11 innings. However, their season is over. Same for the Platypi, who are at 3-8 and eight with a negative run differential. They both officially have been eliminated from the playoff hunt. So two teams already out in our division. And uh, Herbisaurs are borderline out right now. Negative 3 run differential is not horrible. But if other teams start getting more than 8 wins... They're unfortunately going to be out. Sandcats are the only team to officially clinch the playoff spot here as they're 10 and 3. Next episode, we are going to look to clinch our third consecutive winning record here in the series as we will be taking on the next to last place Platypi, who are sitting at 3 and 8 currently. Uh, on the mound for us will be second year pitcher Reese Hunter, 2 and 0 with a 138 ERA and a 108 whip. And on the mound for the Platypi will be Burl Chenning, 0 and 2 with an 11 ERA and a 211 whip. Line up for that one. Peek at it here after we do player development. What do we got? Okay, that'll be here in one game. All right. Ron Gale, fielding and speed. She does need the fielding and speed. That is a cheap upgrade. I like it. Chance to lose the lead slider? No. Noodle arm? Hell nah. Basket, extra contact. Didn't do anything today. Big country. Chance to get whiffer? Hells nah. This is easy. We're going to grab this one for Ron Gale. Plus two fielding, 246, one speed to 80. Going for the bonus two fielding, she will not get it. A little bit better one for Rangel, helping her be a better utility infielder. As we will still be able to get this one for Slamus in two games, so I'm not horribly worried about it. Extra contact will be nice, and also the chance to be an actual infielder for the entire infield will also be awesome. So we know which one we're going to aim for. Lineup we set previously. Here's what it looks like. Slamus will lead us off at shortstop. Followed by Bambino and right. Phenomeno back in the lineup. He'll be at third base and tense. Manly at first base, batting fourth. Swanson batting fifth, locked in in the center. Big Country back in left. He'll bat sixth. Batting seventh is catcher Tani De Grande in against the right hander. Batting eighth, second baseman Sloop Whoopity. And batting ninth will be the pitcher, Reese Hunter. And that is going to do it for today's episode, everybody, as the Heaters do win easily today against the Overdogs. Eight to one, the final score. Uh, we're now 8-2 and two on the year. We have officially clinched our third straight 500 or better record. Next episode, we are going to try and clinch our third consecutive winning season with taking on the fourth place, pla last place Platypi, who are officially already eliminated from playoff contention. Can we get the job done and keep pace with the grapplers? Tune in to find out. If you made it this deep in the video, guys, thanks so much for sticking around. I appreciate the support as always. If you haven't already, hit the follow and or subscribe buttons here below on Twitch to be notified next time I go live. And if you haven't already, over on YouTube, leave a like. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. Link to Twitch will be down in the description below. If you want to come over here and follow me over on this platform as well, and also be able to watch the videos before they are posted on YouTube. I'll catch you on the next episode, everybody. Until then, this is the Nasty One signing off. Have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys may be.